What's good guys? So in this video, we're going to be going over um, Roblox Studio Basics. Um, and this is going to be a part of a kind of a beginner scripting series if you're just getting started. Um, so if you want to see the other videos or there's something specific you're looking for, then check the uh, playlist link um, either in the comments or in the description of this video. Let's just go ahead and get into it. So I have Studio up, um, and I've thought a little bit about what I want to show you guys first as what would be the most helpful to know. And really, it's just learning the interface, where things are located. Now, I have a ton of tabs here. You don't have to worry about those because um, you probably won't have nearly as many. And we'll go over the, the important ones that you can focus on. when starting out. Um, so I think the most important one first is the view tab. And you're gonna wanna go over to, wanna have output open. <clears throat> so this is if you get any errors while you're coding or if you wanna print things, we'll go over print in a second. And then the command bar, I never really use this. Um, so yeah. You can use it, but I would use it later on. What it's for though, is for if you want to run a command pretty much like during any time um, and you want to create something. So like uh, local uh, part equals instance dot new part part dot parent equals workspace boom so as you can see like i just ran a command so it just did it um so this actually could be really useful i just personally um i don't use it so there is that uh but let me um let me get out of here let me get out of the command so yeah you want these on pretty much at all times um is the output and command those are like definites and then also what you want on at all times is explore and properties so explore is really just like um everything that's a part of the game right so workspace is a part of the game workspace is what you see the models, this part, for example, that we just created, um, players, um, and then really the most important ones for right now, just starting off is server script service and replicated storage. So replicated storage is storage that you can put that you don't want in workspace, which is where everybody will see things. And it's also so you can grab stuff out of there, duplicate it, um, make a clone out of them, <clears throat> and then put it inside either the player or the workspace or wherever you want to store it, whatever you're doing, whatever logic you're trying to go for. All right, so like we could put this part, for example, inside of replicated storage. We can. Uh, go to the plus icon as well and for example we can add a new part or we can go to the plus icon here and add a script all right so just a recap <clears throat> view at the top of the um the top of the roblox studio the nav bar uh if you want to call it that, um, is your output and command bar, properties and explorer. I never have, I, don't, I never don't have these turned on or turned off. <coughs> like I don't turn these off ever. So those are really important as a descriptor. Um, then you have your test. Uh, if you want to play, um, you can play a local server of like however many people you want to test out your game with multiple um clients um so that's useful the cleanup is 
been buggy recently, but whatever. Um, and then script over here, I never use this. I just, unless I'm using breakpoints, which that's something um, we can get into in another video. Um, but yeah. So let's just go to our script, okay? This script is in server script service. When the server starts, when the game is played, this script will run. Um, and so we can basically call our first function, which is print. And we're going to say, hey, we are printing in the output. You can turn the output on by going to the view channel at the top middle or at the top of the box. Sure, we'll do that. All right, let's print that. So boom, our script has ran successfully and we printed our print. We can also print um, two plus two and it will print out four. So I'll show you that real quick. And it prints out four. We can um, also print a table if we wanted to. And then now it's going to print our table. Okay. We can also use warn and it'll make the text orange. So this is handy if we need to get a specific, if we're testing and we need to get specific information that's like letting us know like, hey, this isn't supposed to happen this way or something like that, whatever you want. So yeah. Um, Understanding that you can just print things is really important because you'll be printing a lot uh, for testing purposes. Um, yeah, and that's it for this video, guys. Peace.